Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded uh, square fully confined uh, in a red uh, rectangle as you can see in this uh, given diagram such that uh, this uh, horizontal segment on the top uh, is uh, 33 units whereas uh, this horizontal segment at the bottom uh, is uh, 22 units and moreover uh, the area of this uh, red rectangle has been given to us as uh, 684 square units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, square please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale Let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on once again this uh, green shaded uh, square. And since we are dealing with this square, so therefore uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, are equal. If I label uh, this side length of this uh, green square as lowercase a, then this side length is going to be lowercase a, lowercase a and lowercase a across the board. And now we know that uh, this uh, side is going to be equal to this side. If this is lowercase a, then this ha side has got to be lowercase a as well. And likewise, uh, this side length uh, is going to be lowercase a as well. And now let's focus on this uh, rectangle on the left hand side. And I'm going to label uh, this side uh, length uh, as uh, x then this uh, side uh, is going to be x uh, as well and likewise i'm going to focus on this uh, other rectangle as well let's assume that this uh, side length uh, is y then uh, this side length is going to be y as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, segment length uh, which is equal to 33 units and likewise uh, this very same segment length uh, is going to be equal to lowercase a plus x so therefore we can write uh, a plus uh, x is going to be equal to 33 and likewise we are going to focus on this uh, other segment length uh, which is equal to 22 and this very same segment length uh, is equal to lowercase a plus y. So therefore we can write uh, a plus uh, y equals to 22 as well. So thus we are ended off with these uh, two equations. And now we are going to add these uh, two equations. And if we add these one that's going to give us uh, a plus a is going to be 2 times a plus uh, x plus y is going to be equal to 33 plus 22 is going to give us uh, 55 on the right hand side and now we are going to move this uh, 2 times a to the other side and now I'm going to label this equation as our equation number 1 and now we are going to focus on this uh, big uh, red rectangle and we can see its uh, length uh, is going to be a plus x uh, plus y so therefore its length uh, has got to be a plus uh, x uh, plus y and likewise uh, the width of this uh, red rectangle is lowercase a and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, lowercase a and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula area is always equal to length uh, times the width of the rectangle and in our case uh, the area of this uh, red rectangle has been given to us as uh, 684 square units whereas uh, its uh, dimensions are uh, lowercase a and uh, lowercase a plus x uh, plus y let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so our area of this rectangle is 684 is going to be equal to lowercase a times uh, lowercase a plus uh, x uh, plus y 
and now let's focus on this part uh, x plus y and we know from equation 1 our x plus y value is 55 minus 2 times a so therefore I'm going to replace uh, x plus y with uh, 55 minus uh, 2 times a over here so therefore we can write uh, 684 equals to lowercase a times lowercase a plus uh, x plus y value is 55 minus uh, 2 times uh, a and now we are going to combine the like terms uh, inside uh, this uh, parentheses so if we combine these like terms that's going to give us 55 minus uh, a minus uh, 2a is going to give us uh, a and now we are going to distribute uh, a so therefore we can write uh, 684 equals to 55 times uh, a minus uh, a square and now I'm going to move uh, all these uh, terms uh, to the other side so therefore we are ended up with uh, a square minus 55 times uh, a plus uh, 684 equal to 0 so thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation uh, a square minus 55 times a plus 684 equal to 0 and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring and we could use the quadratic formula as well to solve uh, this uh, quadratic equation and now let's focus on this uh, constant 684 that could broken down to 19 uh, times uh, 36 and if we add uh, 19 and 36 we are going to get indeed uh, 55 so therefore let's focus on this uh, middle term we are going to tweak this one this could be written as uh, negative uh, 19 times a minus uh, 36 times uh, a and now we can see lowercase a is in common between first two terms and uh, for these last two terms uh, negative 36 uh, is common as well so therefore we can factor out uh, lowercase a times uh, lowercase a minus uh, 19 minus 36 uh, times uh, lowercase a minus 19 equal to 0 and now we could see a minus 19 and a minus 19 they are in common so therefore we could write uh, lowercase a minus uh, 19 times uh, lowercase a minus uh, 36 uh, equal to 0 and now since these two factors equal to 0 I can separate them for this first equation a value turns out to be positive 19 for this second equation our a value is uh, positive 36 and now we could see that a equals to 36 value is not feasible so therefore we are going to reject this a equal to 36 value and we are going to accept uh, a equals to 19 so thus the side length uh, of this uh, green square turns out to be 19 units and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to s square where lowercase uh, s is the side length and in our case our side length is 19 so thus our uh, green square area is going to be 19 square and that is going to be equal to 361 square units the area of this green shaded square so thus the area of this uh, green square turns out to be 361 square units in other words the area of this uh, green square is going to be 361 square uh, units and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.